Hey, what's going on YouTube? It's your boy Debbie, and I'm coming back again with yet another video. And if you guys are new to the channel, feel free to follow me on Instagram, J A A V I O N, no underscore straight through. Follow me on Snapchat, Doe underscore Boy Junior. I post similar content on there. I'm relatable. If you guys have any questions about how I edit my videos, what I use to edit my videos, what gear I use, where did I pick up the items that I'm reviewing on that particular video, hit me up, slide up. I promise you, I'm gonna steer you in the right direction. Today is gonna be an interesting video because I did a video on this channel about six, seven months ago. About all the hats that I have in my collection. That video was comprised of hats that were dad hats. Some of them were snapbacks. At the time, I only had two fitteds. But now I'm gonna bring you guys an updated fitted hat collection. I have a total of 18. There are two snapbacks in here, but I just keep them with the fitteds because it's like one of the newer hats that I bought. It might be a thumbnail right here. Let's get straight to it. So I'm gonna change the scenery for this and I'm gonna put you guys on the over the top view so you guys can see these hats up close and personal. Before we move along in the video, I would like to show you guys the fitted that I have on today. I have on a Lakers peanut butter and jelly color coordinated. This came from New Era. This was their sweet and savory collection. I picked it up around four or five months ago. This is actually my first time wearing this on video. I bought this hat strictly for a patch install that I did. It is a video on my channel as well. I'll be sure to put a little snapshot of it right here. But as you can see, this hat was bare bones. And I took the liberty of adding this patch to it. And I think this is dope in this fire. Purple undervisor, tan button up top, black sweatband. This hat was made in Bangladesh. Still a little tight. I still have the stickers on it. That's how you know it's a bare and bones cap because this suggested retail is only for $40. Most of my other hats are $45, $55. Let's get straight into the video. All right, what's going on YouTube? As you can see, I've changed perspectives and I want to show you guys an over top view of the hats that I have. This is the first hat that I got from Hat Club, Toronto Blue Jays, the Badlands collection. Peep that side patch. I think this is a very horribly done side patch. Let me get a zoom in for you guys. You can't even see what it is. Peach under visor, black sweatband. This one was made in China. It comes from China. All right, let's move that one to the side. I'll be stacking the pleat ones up there. Oh Lord, this is one of my first cop. Normal, white Yankees fitted, no patches, bare and bones, none to it, white under visor, nothing special. This is one of my most favorite cops that I actually picked up pretty recently. I think this one is called World Champions because you know they just won a World Series this year in October. This hat is side patch galore. Get a nice little zoom in for you guys. Back when they were the Boston Braves, World Series embroidery on the back, Batterman. I didn't include the Battermans in those first two hats right there. I'll be sure to move forward to get them. That back when they were the Milwaukee Braves. 1995 World Series patch. I think it's dope. Gray undervisor, black sweatband. This one was made in Bangladesh. Very good fit on that one. The Bangladesh fit its fit way better. This is a Minnesota Timberwolves. This is from New Era. This is their turkey dinner collection. I thought this hat was dope, so I copped it. That's it, right? Peep the basketball with those colors. You guys would be surprised at what color the sweatband, not sweatband, but the undervisor is. That campfire orange that we all desire, right? It's campfire orange right there. Black sweatband. No Batterman, of course, NBA logo, reminiscent of the patch with those purples and greens and tan hues. This hat is made in Bangladesh. I've only worn that thing one time. This is an Atlanta Braves, bare bones, no patches on it. I bought this hat a size too big because I needed it for a pair of shoes. <laughs> Story of our lives, right? But I do have an, this is a green and white better man. This is raised black sweatband. This is a dope hat, very beautiful green. The green is actually not picking up how it should. This hat was made, yeah, Bangladesh, still a good fit. It's a heavy hitter right here. Not a lot of people have this hat, but they would love to have it. This is a pink Yankees, peep the side patch, 2000 World Series patch. I love this patch. It's kind of overused though, but I see why, because it's dope. Flat batter man on the back, pink and a light pink. Surrounded by a white border, white sweatband, perfect color. Pink undervisor. This hat was made in Bangladesh. This is the second fitted that I actually ever purchased. I was raised in Texas, so I thought this would be a dope addition to my collection. White New Era logo. 
Ray's Batterman, very reminiscent of the logo with that blue and red, black nasty, black undervisor, and black sweatband. This hat was made in Haiti. This is my first hat that I actually have from Haiti. I didn't even know. That's I got this hat from Lids in Lenox Mall when I went down to Atlanta for a trip. This is one of my favorite hats that I own in my collection. That side patch, 1961, 1985, 25th. This is my favorite part because it has that baseball stitching. This is a two-tone gray navy blue. I also love that yellow halo. It just adds a pop of color. I wore this with my white cement threes. It's a flat Batterman bordered in red. Sweatband needs to be cleaned. I do know how to clean that. I might make a video on how to clean those. Green undervisor. This hat was made in China. Keep going. This is a snapback. Won't spend too much time on it. Typical gold and white socks. White socks. White uh, new era. Snapback, of course. Black sweatband. Gray undervisor. Good fit, of course. No splat, No side patches. This hat was made in Bangladesh. I've only worn this hat two times. This is a Portland Trailblazers fitted. I thought this was dope. I bought this strictly for my Yeezy slot. That's the only reason why I bought this hat. All right, peep the side patch on the side. Portland Trailblazers, National Basketball Association. It's a pretty bland patch. I don't know what else they could have did with it. Red on the visor, still got the sticker on it. Black sweatband. I've only worn this hat a couple times, like I said. This hat was made in Bangladesh. This is a Michelin Nest. I want to say this is like bacon or something like that. Collection or something like that. I might be, I might be lying. I might be lying. But yeah, this is my one and only Michelin Nest fitted that I actually own. Peep the side patch. I wouldn't even say much of a side patch. It's embroidery in the place of where a side patch would be. Hardwood Classics, it's a, it is flat. Michelin S on the side where a New Era logo would. Pink Undervisor. New Era has a signature. They have those uh, those squared brims. All right, I bought this had a size too big, so I got some paper towel stuff in there to give it, make it feel like a 7 3 4 Made in China, you can barely see it. This is a custom Cleveland Browns. I took the liberty of cutting out some US faux patches and just cutting out the fire from the back. Adding my own fire design to it my own side patch astronaut it goes good with that orange as you can see i know this thing flows together you ain't got to tell me cleveland browns on the back i kind of wish they would have put like an nfl logo or something on the back it is what it is great undervisor black sweatband made in china i even put this one on there the what okay this is a mistake <laughs> colorado rockies fitted this literally feels like a jersey to be honest it's exactly what it feels like if i could describe it to you haven't worn this don't really plan to i bought it because it was on sale i thought it was gonna be regular black boy was i wrong right it'll be a dope hat if this was regular black but it just fits so loose it's just so weird peep that side patch a colorado rockies logo it's pretty dope i actually like that purple and black raised batterman on the back black sweatband black undervisor this hat was made in china nothing crazy this is a black all blacked out Atlanta Braves, this was my first fitted that I ever bought. My own money. Black New Era logo, black raised Batterman, no side patch, black nasty. This is actually one of my go-to hats. Uh, this hat was made in Bangladesh. This is one of my most recent pickups and I really love this hat. This is from the MLB Snow Collection from New Era. Toronto Blue Jays has those snowflakes, blue, light blue New Era logo on it. Raised Batterman, blue and white, extra snowflake here, extra snowflake here, no side patches, complete blue interior. I've never seen a hat with a colored sweatband that wasn't black or white. You guys, let me know if you guys have ever seen a colored sweatband that corresponds with the undervisor. I've never seen it. This hat was made in Bangladesh. I love this hat. We are getting to the nitty gritty. This is actually my most worn fitted hat that I have, hands down. This is a Arizona Diamondbacks. The side patch is usually over here, as you can see. But on this one, they decided to put it over here. And this is dope. I love this side patch. Get a nice little zoom in for you guys. Flat Batman on the black, black, white, and purple. White sweatband, gray undervisor. This hat was made in Haiti. This is my second one made in Haiti. This is a, an Atlanta Braves. Hank Aaron, 25th anniversary. 715, do not ask me what the 715 means. I do not know. I put this flamingo on there because I thought it looked dope. Light pink undervisor, white sweatband, flat batterman, black and white bordered in pink. This hat was made in Bangladesh. This is a snapback. I have no idea what brand this is, but I thought it was dope. I picked it up at a finish line. This side patch is humongous. It is very huge. Pink undervisor, very good quality hat. It's a lot going on. I've only worn this one time. Huge Lakers logo on the back. Snapback, PRO. Pro is the brand, I guess. Ooh, I'm gonna leave that in there so y'all can bless me. 
And this is the last fitted that we have, the one that I was wearing in the video. I'm gonna show you guys a nice little close up. This is a Los Angeles Lakers from the Sweet and Savory collection from New Era. Purple New Era logo, purple undervisor. I put this patch on there myself. This did not come on the hat. Now you will not find another hat that looks like this, I promise you. They do. They bit me in a raised NBA logo, black sweatband. This thing has a hard time folding up and everything because the patch is so big. All right, that is going to conclude today's video, you guys. If you guys haven't, please like, comment, and subscribe. This is JV on signing out. Until then, peace.